The future of electric cars, is, it's going to be really interesting because I think what we're going to see is you won't need to plug in your car. In fact, even if you don't have charging at home, your car will be able to charge itself anyway. The future, the future honestly, is really exciting. And, and it's really exciting because of technology. There's going to be some technological changes. Things we're seeing come out of China recently that, real, well, they really are changing the way that the automotive industry operates. It's not just Tesla doing this. Yes, Tesla certainly is doing this. We've, we're going to see wireless charging in electric cars soon. But we're also going to see this kind of robotic arm charging. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to have you with us. I want to say a big thank you to our members. If you'd like to become a member, you can do so by clicking the link in the description below. Huawei have just unveiled, well, they've just unveiled the one of the largest electric sedans in history. It's 5.5 meters long. In other words, it's actually longer than a Ford Ranger pickup truck. It's a sedan. It's enormous. It's pretty damn incredible. Interestingly, it actually, the electric version is lighter than the plug-in hybrid version. So yeah, electric cars are becoming lighter. But a few days ago, Huawei unveiled something that I think was much more interesting than the world's largest electric sedan, an EV charging robot arm. And well, it looks like it actually works. So, you know, we've now got cars, for example, my Xpeng G6, it can park itself. Even when you're not in the car, it'll park itself into really, really difficult situations in complex scenarios. And you can pick which spot you want on the app. So you can go on the app and you, there's all these different parking spots. You can pick which spot you want and then it'll park itself. And there's quite a few cars that, um, well, there's not quite a few, but there's some cars that are doing that now. So the thing is, could your car, if you live in an apartment block, simply drop you off, drive to a charging spot, and whether that's wireless charging or this kind of charging, charge itself using potentially a robot arm or like I said, wireless then drive back to your apartment. Well, I'm not sure. I mean, the reality is, if it can do that, do you really need to own a car? Would it be cheaper just to, I don't know, do robo taxis? Huawei unveiled an unmanned robotic arm that can charge electric vehicles without a driver needing to leave the car and manually connect the charging cable. Now, of course, um, we're still not quite at that robotic cars thing yet. Full self-driving isn't hasn't been approved yet, but it's only it's only a, a very short period of time away. So if you combine full self-driving with robotic charging arms, then well, I think you can see why internal combustion cars that can't do any of this are back in the dark ages. Huawei also released a demonstration video where the Maestro S800 sedan autonomously parks near the charger equipped with the robotic arm and gets automatically plugged in. From the demonstration video, you can see the Maestro S800 sedan without a driver. Now, I just remembered Tesla were working on something like this now for quite a few years. A few years ago, they were doing it. I'm not sure what happened to that project. Does anyone know? If you know, let me know in the comments. From the demonstration video, you can see the Maestro S800 sedan, which is enormous without a driver. When the unmanned charging function is remotely activated, the car starts autonomously looking for a charging spot. Once found, the EV parks next to it and the robotic arm inserts the charging gun while monitoring any possible obstacles. Once the charging is done, Car News China says the arm is automatically unplugged, payment is automatically deducted, and the car leaves the spot and goes back to wherever you want it to go. The arm is mounted on Huawei's flagship 600 kilowatt supercharger. So yeah, that's a 600 kilowatt charger, which is now, now becoming fairly common in China. They can theoretically provide 100 kilowatt hours of battery charge in 10 minutes, meaning you, you can charge almost any electric car in about 10 minutes, as much as you'd want to anyway. Despite Huawei only teasing its robotic arm EV charging capabilities, according to a source familiar with this technology, mass production will start for this robotic charging arm in the second quarter of 2025. Will these charging arms come to other countries? Yes, they will for sure. Not the United States. You guys obviously won't get anything from Huawei, that's for sure. 
But other countries, Europe, Australia, many other locations, Southeast Asia, we're going to see robotic charging arms. It'll be common. This will be a great solution to the problem of apartment owners not being able to charge at their apartment. Huawei haven't provided any actual details. However, the unmanned robotic charger will be compatible with all Huawei Supercharging Alliance members, which include BYD, Xpeng, Liordo, Ato, JAC, and Great Wall. As you can see, the Chinese, they're kind of gathering together here. For example, did they mention any charging partners being BMW or Honda or Toyota, Mercedes? No, they didn't. This is a little bit scary, actually, when you think about it. The Chinese now have the best electric car technology. Uh, don't get me wrong. I still think Tesla is ahead when it comes to full self-driving in terms of you know getting that in mainstream cars. But outside of that, it's fair to say the Chinese have the best battery technology. They have the best motors now. Uh, now they have robotic charging arms that charge at 600 kilowatt. I've heard that some new EVs in China can charge at 900 kilowatt. Where is it all leading? Well, I don't know, but it's pretty damn exciting. What are your thoughts? Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye-bye. Clearly Tesla is planning for 500 kilowatt charging. There is no other possible reason why their new chargers would be able to charge at this speed if they're not intending to actually have electric cars. The Tesla branded that charge at 500 kilowatt. But honestly, what interests me even more is the potential of 1.2 megawatt charging. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. You're watching The Electric Viking. Um, I've just gotten home from China. I have been charging an EV here that I'm reviewing on a review for you guys. It's a new electric car. Review will be up in a few days using my solar. My solar has been just powering this EV. If you want to do the same at your house, you should. I'll put a link in the description to Resync Solar and they'll be give you a, a bit of a discount if you mention who I am. By the way, I don't get any kickbacks from that. Tesla have revealed their new V4 superchargers and these chargers can charge at 500 kilowatt DC charging. Currently, only the Tesla Cybertruck is capable of charging at anything above 250 kilowatt. The Cybertruck can charge it up to 400 kilowatt using chargers in Europe. Hasn't been shown to do that in America, but for some reason it will in, it will in Europe. 400 kilowatt charging. So in theory, if Tesla was to take the architecture in the Cybertruck and use that in other EVs in the future, which I imagine it probably will, you know, 48 volt, not that that's relevant, but anyway, if Tesla was to use that, then you could potentially charge new Tesla electric cars at 400 kilowatt, but that's not 500, is it? I mean, not even the Cybertruck charges at 500 kilowatt. So why are Tesla launching new V4 superchargers? Well, <laughs>